When they handed my client back her dog in a plastic bag, I felt extremely inadequate. Most people in the nation have heard about the pit bulls that killed Nicholas Fabish in San Francisco. A 12 year old boy was mauled to death by his family's two pit bulls. It was just devastating. Residents of the inner sunset neighborhood of San Francisco found out the boy was dead when they heard the screams of his mother. There is a pit bull problem in the Bay Area. San Francisco said, we want to discriminate. We want to discriminate against pit bulls. Please let us do it. An effort is underway to repeal a new state law regarding dangerous dogs. Tonight, a Sacramento attorney is leading an effort to repeal the defeat of Bill. Well, today, some dog owners turned out with their pets to try and change public opinion about pit bulls. Breed-specific legislation is where there's an ordinance or some type of law that's passed that only affects a certain breed. Most Americans believe that these pit bulls, they're natural-born killers and they can never be trained. What do you know that most people know? It was not long after I began practicing law that I began reading in the newspaper about the city of Denver knocking on people's doors and taking dogs. If somebody came to my house and tried to take my dog, it would be a very serious thing and I would undoubtedly end up in jail. I've seen grown men crying because they took their dog away. This has been high profile in the news these days. More often than not, the media traffics in those stereotypes. A lot of what local news is is fear. You know, you need to watch tonight because, you know, this is dangerous. Irresponsible owners are really the problem here, and irresponsible owners are dog fighters. Innocent people and many innocent dogs are getting penalized and killed because of this ban in Miami-Dade County. 